the Trump Stadium in front of us here, the, well, the rebuilt uh, Trump Stadium, the old one's come down of course. It was here on Friday 30th of November. The Elvis was back in Memphis following us, it was just a four day tour of Ohio, Ohio and Kentucky. Um, Elvis attended a, the E.H. Crump Memorial Game for the Blind here at the stadium where he was uh, to present a, a Carnival Queen award to one Sue Manka uh, for which he was late but uh, so he had some photos taken up in the interval um, she'd already been presented with her uh, award so uh, and just five days after this, on, of course on Tuesday 4th of December Elvis was uh, back at the Memphis Recording Service where the famous Million Dollar Quartet session took place with uh, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins and Jerry Lee Lewis and a few days after that, on, Friday, on the Friday, the 7th of December, Elvis had his hair cut at uh, Jim's Barber's and then um, Elvis and George Klein attended the WDIA Goodwill Review at the Alice Auditorium with B.B. King, Ray Charles, Rufus Thomas, The Moon Glows, many others. Um, and then the next Saturday, on Saturday 15th December, Elvis completed his obligation to the Louisiana Hayride by making his last live appearance on the show. Stop here at the Dave Wells Community Centre and on this field here was where Elvis and his buddies would often play football at the very start of his career, well before his career actually and just after his first flush of fame when he was here in December 1956 and you can actually see the houses in the picture you can see the houses behind here Clearly in the picture showing Elvis playing on this field here. And he came here with his short-lived girlfriend at the time, Dottie Harmony. She probably thought she was going for a nice exciting trip around Memphis and he brought her to let her watch him and his mates play football. So we got what was the Kennedy Veterans Hospital. It's now part of Memphis University. It was here that Elvis came on the 4th of January 1957 with Dottie Harmony for his pre-induction army physical. This is part of the original building. There's not many of the original buildings left. Um, there's an aerial photo showing the, how vast the Kennedy Veterans Hospital was again 1034 Audubon Drive Love you was made while Elvis lived here and it was actually during the filming of Love you actually the events leading up to Gra uh, the purchase of Graceland <coughs> happened around the, around the time the filming of Love you uh, on 12th of February after a brief spell in hospital Gladys um, along with Vernon boarded a train on 12th of February 57 for LA and on Thursday and Friday 21st and 22nd of February the, the scenes were shot with Vernon and Gladys in the audience and while Deke Rivers, Elvis's character, sang Got A Lot Of Living To Do at the finale of the film and it was soon after that that uh, while Elvis was still Still in LA on post production work on Loving You that Gladys and Vernon back in Memphis on 16th, around Saturday, 16th of March, they found Graceland down there in Whitehaven, set back off the road. Of course, at the time it was the only building. 
around. It was a, a very rural area at that time. Elvis left LA on the 17th of March and two days later he put down a thousand dollar deposit on Graceland, completing the purchase a week later for $102,500. Elvis went back out on tour at the end of March and in at the start of April he re returned home um, here to Audubon. Graceland was undergoing the renovations that he'd, he'd ordered and uh, this photo was him with uh, Yvonne Line that he he brought back uh, on a, a weekend date that uh, where he's showing her around the uh, uh, Graceland and uh, having his pictures a week later taken in front of the gates that had been installed. And it wasn't until uh, 16th of May, while Elvis was actually st still in Hollywood filming his third film, Jealous Rock, that uh, Vernon and Gladys moved out of Audubon here and moved into Graceland. So it was just over a year that the Presleys lived in this house, and thankfully there's a lot of pictures that uh, survive. But in reality, Elvis spent very little time, actual time here at the home. He was, uh, extremely busy 12 months for him.